Ooh, what's going on guys? It's Shino from Modern Accessory Review. And today we're going to be looking at these incredible ski goggles from Blender's Eyewear. I have actually been a big fan of Blender's Eyewear for the past year after seeing them on Instagram. I have a couple pairs of their sunglasses and when they started releasing ski goggles, I was very excited to see what they had to offer. These come in at a decently affordable price at $95 and are definitely better than some higher priced goggles. I have actually gone skiing 4 times with these on and I have some incredible video footage to show you guys. So let's dive into the video. Starting off with the build quality and design, these goggles are very impressive. They arrive in a super padded case that will be sure to keep everything safe while traveling. It is a pretty large case so it will take up some space, but it's nothing to worry about unless you are extremely limited with room in your bag. Each one of the zippered cases has their own design based on the goggles you pick. So as you can see I have the blue and pink goggles here with two different designs on the cases. We also have a nice clip on the side which is great to hook on a backpack for quick use. Inside the case we have the goggles in a soft bag with an extra pair of low light lenses which I have used a ton when it's snowing or cloudy out when I'm skiing. These lenses actually have a yellow tint to them which helps brighten everything up so you can see the snow better. When you want to switch the lenses out all we have to do is pop it out and stick the other lenses in. Blender's eyewear actually made all of their lenses magnetic so it is extremely easy to pop a new lens in if it's cloudy on the mountain. Sometimes I will even pop in the low light lenses when I am skiing in a bunch of trees like I am here. In terms of design, these goggles are very sleek and awesome to look at. The lens reflects almost everything and the frames are very thin which makes these really eye catching. Of course, we also have an adjustable strap on the back of the goggles which has a rubber lining that grips through a helmet or hat very well. I found this really useful because in other ski goggles sometimes the strap slips off my helmet because there isn't any grip, but with these I didn't have to worry. Not only do they look great, but they are also some of the most comfortable goggles I've ever worn. There is plenty of padding around your eyes and I would ski the whole day barely noticing they were on my head. These also did not fog up on me at all, except for when I had a mask covering my mouth and nose and snow got trapped inside the goggles for when I fell skiing through some powder. This is typical for ski goggles and even the most expensive goggles on the market fog up sometimes. I was actually really impressed how well these did. Now these goggles do get smudges on them pretty easily so Blender's eyewear actually included a cloth in the goggles case that will clean off any unwanted smudges. These things are also fairly durable and won't scratch too easily. Unfortunately for me, I was skiing through some trees and a branch scratched the top of the lenses as you can see here. But I am a pretty crazy skier and I love to get my adrenaline pumping by going through trees, landing new tricks, and getting some good air. So I definitely put these goggles through the test when it comes to durability. Now the only thing I wish was different about these goggles is that the plastic frame around the lenses can look a little cheap. If the frame was stainless steel or a different higher quality material, these goggles would definitely be my favorite on the market for the price. So wrapping up the video, would I recommend these goggles? The simple answer is yes, definitely. I don't think you could get any better for the price of just 95 bucks. With the attachable lenses, grippy headband, incredible comfort, and padded case, these are pretty much all you will ever need in a pair of ski goggles. If you guys want to check these out, I will have them linked in the description below, and make sure to ask any questions you may have in the comment section below as well. I want to hear what you guys think about these. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because that's what helps me create better content for you guys. I truly appreciate everyone who supports the channel by doing that. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.